Hey, look at those daisies. Those aren't daisies. Look at those dandelions. They're really tall. Oh, all right. So, I got to show you this map. <laughs> And look at that! This is just a bunch of pencils. It's like somebody took a pencil and just went doo -doo 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 -doo, and they just drew all over the place. Let's put some skull and, skull and crossbones on there. Ooh! I already went over here this morning and got stuck. Didn't have the camera on. It was just nothing but clay just sliding all over the place. Pretty fun though. Uh, now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over to this overlook. Okay, see that overlook? So I'm gonna take this 9C. That's the track we're gonna be looking for. Mr. Rider Map has his map. Welcome, welcome to Brushy, Brushy Mountain Motor Park. Brapad and I are having a great time. Rode a bit by myself this morning, got mud all over the place. Clay is very difficult to ride on when it's wet. Nobbies help, but still not, you know, perfect. Yeah. All right. Watch this big puddle right here. Oh, no, that's not it. Here it is, it's up here. We're gonna jump over this puddle. Oh, that's not it either. There's a big, huge puddle up here. I wanna jump over it. Here it is. No, that's not it. Where'd it go? The puddle's gone. All right, awesome trails here at Brushy Mountain. Very impressed with this park. I'm having a great time. All the trails are one way. You don't have to worry about somebody coming the other direction. So you feel safer. And so you go faster. And so you crash. <laughs> Watch, I crashed. Whoa. Saw that coming. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> that was from a different vlog if you checked out my natural disasters one. Here we go. All right, we want to go on 9C, 29C, 9C. No ATVs, that's us. Okay. And we're going to be some single track. And if it's like the single track I was on this morning, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, so far, not so good. I mean, not so crazy. Whoa, that was mud. I wanted to crash. All right, so... Let's see here. Single track, single track. That's not a single track. It's like a double track. Single on one side, single on the other. So it's like a double. Double and twist. Look at that. Ooh, it's narrow. Ah. Okay, so... Am I recording? Yes, I am recording on the back. Yeah! Okay, to talk to you, to talk to you. What should I talk to you? you. Don't go too crazy on these corners here. Hey, oh, there we go. 9C, bikes only. That's me. Brap it. Okay, if you've noticed, I've got a mirror on Brap it now. Oh, yeah, tight. Oh, hit the pig on that one. And I've got some lights too. And I've got a license plate. Or a tag, as we say here in Tennessee. I got a tag. Oh, that's some root section. Look at that. Woosa, woosa. Roots everywhere. Roots everywhere. Oh. Stay on the peg. Stay on the peg. That's it. Oh, oh, the roots kick you over. That's not fun. It makes it for scary rides. Yes, it does. Now we're fine for scare. Okay. Single track. Single track. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh. All right, so. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rabbit. She's got some lights on her now. And I took her on the road. Just, I've got really good knobbies on it though, so I don't want to go too far. Oh, speaking of, those knobbies are coming in handy. Oh, we're just digging. Oh, get your foot up. There we go. And I didn't, so I didn't, I just went and kind of play around, try to do some wheelies. And it was all raining and wet. It's hard to do rain and wheelies. Have you ever tried that? Doesn't work really well. Okay. Whoa. All right. Here we go. Ready? Down and up. At a boy. At a girl. I mean, at a girl. At a girl. We're digging. We're digging. At a girl. Woohoo! So that was clay too. Which way are we going? This way. First gear back again. Oh, it's tight. And one thing I found is that she doesn't have very good road manners. She's got some worm locks, shakes all over the place. And uh, because of her gearing, I could only do like 60. It was my top speed in sixth gear. So I'm tempted, I'm 
tempted, mind you, tempted to put a 14 tooth up front because I've got a 13. And that should give me some more top end. But the question is, does she still have the power to climb these crazy hills that I'm going on? Because I enjoy this stuff. This is fun. This is technical riding at its best. Well, not so much right here, but that's a puddle. Oh man, I sunk into a puddle. Whoa! I mean, what does that sign say? Weather shortcut. Oh, okay. Wet weather. It's not weather right now. There's not rain. Please stay away, rain. Please stay away. I don't want to get stuck out here. Because they'll charge you like $25 an hour to come get you. No, oh, that's not fun. All right, first gear. Here we go. But she climbs with the best of them in first. I tell you, she's just... She has got the torque. Yeah. For instance... Another girl. Come on. See that? That's steep, fellas. And ladies, if you're watching. And but I bet 250. Blah, 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 no worries. We go up. We go up is what she says. We go up. We just go up. She can handle it. So if I change to a 14, would I still have that torquey, that torquey low end grunt to get up those those little those sections like that? Now, when I changed Bradman, he had a 15 and I changed to a 14. I, I really liked the 14 for the trails. But after I got better at riding, the uh, I found that I could still do the same things with the 15 because he had he had a lot of horses, you know. He was all, you know, he had all kinds of 400 power. Now the Brapet, she has less. She's awesome and she's light and she's nimble and I love her to death. She is, well, I don't know, you know, if it came down to picking her or my children, you know, I would, I would have to think about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, children. I'm just kidding. I would take my children any day, any day, every day. So, ah, man, she's been fun. Taking her some crazy places today. And she just eats it up. She just eats it up. Goes, goes, goes. The only time I couldn't go is when I was on the wet. And I don't think anybody, it didn't matter how much horsepower you have, because she had plenty of power. She'd just, you know, rear tire, just spin, 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 spin. I could be stopped going uphill, clutch out, idling, and it's just spinning. So, you know, it doesn't matter your horsepower if you got no traction. you got to have a little friction. Yeah. Oh, that was deep. Okay. Yeah, up the hill, down the hill, over the hill we go, off the roots. No, oh, that's a big one. I'm gonna try this way just because other people have gone this way. That a girl. That a girl. She's climbing. See? She's just climbing away. I didn't have to do much there as far as the throttle. She just kind of idles her way up. I just give her just a little bit of gas, a little bit of fuel. Off we go. She's powerful. Now, she's not a speed demon, but that's not what I have her for. If I want to go fast on the road, I'll go get my street bike. Yeah, and the two of them together cost oh, maybe two, 2,500 bucks. Oh, that's neutral. There we go. So, have two bikes, two cheap bikes, and have a blast. Have one expensive bike and can't do everything you want to do. Street bikes can't go up here, even the Bretman. Well, no, he could go up here. It was just so much harder. So much harder to ride him. And, you know, if you crash, which you will, if you take this single tracks, you go off road, you're gonna crash. And the brat man, oh, speaking of, I almost did there. And that was a second, yeah, second gear, first gear, here we go. And he was just so heavy, picking him up was awful. You know, I could have worked out a little more, maybe. You know, if I was like CDS, or if I was like Aries, 0909, then I probably wouldn't have any trouble picking up a DRZ, because that's what they do. But I am a little guy. I'm only 5'10", 160 pounds when I'm in shape. 165, 170 when I'm not in shape. So, which is more often than not. <laughs> in the summer, I get in better shape. All right, I need a topic. 
question is, can I topic and talk? And yes, well, I've been doing it the whole time. Yes, I have. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, let's stay on the trail. Going down there, I could use my pulley system, but I don't want to. I would much rather stay on the trail. Yes, I'm prepared. But let's, let's just not crash today, because that's what I crashed like. It's very steep down there. I've done that before. Oh, I'm getting and I was talking and I didn't notice. I was just gonna go through that big arch battle. I could have gone around it. And now I'm spitting out mud everywhere. But that's okay, that's okay. Oh crap. I thought I missed it. But rocks everywhere. <laughs> Big ones and little ones. And they're just everywhere. They're just everywhere. This is kind of like, um, kind of like Red Victoria. Woo! Kind of like Oregon. I mean, not Oregon. That's not Oregon. That's Nest. Nest up there is in Oregon. Uh, okay, boom.